All right, continuing on with the, uh, the derivative function, let's do an example here. So given f of x equals x squared, find f of prime x or the derivative of f of x and f of prime two or the derivative of f of x at point two and interpret their meaning. Okay, so let's, uh, let's start off with finding this, uh, this general derivative here or this f of prime x. So, how do we find the, uh, the general derivative? Well, we use our difference quotient, limit as h goes to zero, f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Um, so, plugging in x plus h for our function x squared, we'll get, um, limit as h goes to zero, um, we'll get x plus h squared, and if we expand it, we'll get uh, x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus f of x is just x squared all over h. And uh, notice how in the numerator, the x squares will cancel out. So we'll be left with the limit as h goes to zero of 2xh plus h squared all over h. If we factor out an h, sorry, this should be an h here. Factor out an h, we'll end up with 2x plus h all over h, the h's will cancel out. If we uh, plug in zero for h then, we end up with two x. So the, uh, the derivative of x squared is, um, is two x. Now interpret their meaning. What does this mean? What does this derivative actually mean? Well, if you recall to our derivative function overview video, we said that f of prime x is the derivative, which is also the slope of the tangent at point x. So let's, uh, let's show this graphically. So if I have, if I draw out, this is, um, f of x equals x squared, all right, the function that we're working with. This derivative here, this 2x, gives you the slope of the tangent at any point, right? So let's say we want to know the slope of the tangent at 3. Well, So we have this tangent here. At point three, the slope of this line, this tangent, will be six. Two times three is six. We could also find it at negative five. So negative five, if we drew a tangent here, the slope of this tangent, if we plug in negative five here into the derivative, it will be negative 10. The slope of that line will be negative 10. So basically, this, this function is giving you the slope of the tangent at any point x of x squared. So that's what it means. Now, f of prime two, well, what is it? f of prime two, if we plug it into the derivative, it's just, uh, it's just four, right? So what's the meaning of that? Well, at point two, let's change this three to a two here. At point two, the slope of the tangent is going to be four. So this means that the slope of the tangent on the function f of x equals x squared at x equals two the slope is equal to four. 
the slope of the tangent on this function at point x equals 2, the slope of this tangent is equal to 4. So the derivative always gives you the slope of the tangent. It's very, um, it's very important to wrap your mind around that and understand what it actually is because you're going to be getting more complex questions where you're really going to have to understand what's going on. And, and this, is, this is the fundamentals. You have to know this. You have to know this. You have to understand this. So again, I sound like a broken record probably. The derivative of a function is always giving you the slope of the tangent at any x value on the function.